uh, hi everyone and welcome back so we will talk about combining the resolvers combining the schema okay so this is important we are creating different different folders different different type definitions different different resolvers but how we are going to combine them so this is the example so this is the base schema you can create and then in every another schema what you will do is extend query extend type query extend type mutation extend type subscription that we have done in the user schema what we were writing is extend type query extend type mutation that means you have some root query root mutation that you are extending and creating a single schema tree right and finally you are returning an array of all these schema together similarly we have the resolvers in the index.js you combine all the resolvers and return it so finally in the index.js we are combining and this is what we are passing to our function so if we take a look over to this we are passing type definitions and the resolvers and the context we are passing a number of things like models connections the user data user metadata and everything okay now this is pretty much we have and in the models if you look into this we have the user mongodb models and there are some static methods on the mongodb uh, this particular collection like find by login there is a hook which is delete many and there is a hook like pre-save before saving generate the password hash and then encrypt the password these are like very simple and then validate password is a method instance method on to this collection which is comparing the password store in the collection and the password which you are passing for the record for the current record okay so these are just a, just a way to store the user data and allow exposing these resolvers where you can actually create update delete sign up sign in all these things you can do right so this is how we are actually writing the multiple resolvers multiple schema definitions combining them and passing them and the arguments are important if you look at the resolver user resolver here if you take a look onto the simple example is users this, this it contains three argument parents ergs which is nothing but whatever you are passing in the payload that will come in this object and the models here you can access all the properties which you are passing from your server.js me or some secret key also we are passing all can be accessed and here we are doing the models dot user find models dot user find by id here we are creating right creating the users on the sign up sign in all these methods are there so you can take a look i will post this code onto the uh, my repository it's a very basic example with the mongodb nothing fancy okay it's just a basic uh, structure of uh, user sign up user sign in generating token and giving it back because this is how we have defined the user schema we are returning token once user is logged in right sign in sign up delete user update user all these methods are there okay this example will give you the basic idea about how to write the maybe huge application in mongodb not a simple one where you can have a multiple collections multiple different apis queries and mutations you have okay so thanks everyone and in the phase three this is about phase two which is nothing but like how to combine things in phase three i'm going to use graphql with the mysql by using sqlize or the typo rm where you will get end-to-end -end understanding how to use sqlize how to expose the data using graphql queries and uh, mutations